Hello guys and welcome to yet another video by Dark Rays from System Poseidon. And this video is going to be about AP Misfortune mid lane uh, and the reason for this is that recent changes in patch 4.7 have uh, done so that your Q now all still stacks on AP, causing every single one of your abilities except your W to stack on AP. Um, this actually makes uh, AP Misfortune viable, and I've been having quite a lot of fun uh, playing her. As you can see, uh, I am currently matched up against Jenna, and I'm doing fairly well. Um, so just uh, have a look at that. You can uh, both see how I play it, and uh, also laugh at my failures. Um, this is, uh, game go ends up pretty well, even though we do end up losing, because, well, we've been four against five the entire game. But I do fairly well, if I say so myself. Um, now I'm going to cover uh, different things about playing this. First of all, what you get to know is you will play her more like a mage than an AD carry, obviously, because you stack AP and you dip your dependent on your abilities, meaning you can't just keep shooting stuff. You do need to use your cooldowns to be capable of dishing up damage. Now, next thing is, you will have to rush Lich Bane. Or actually have to rush Sheen and then rush Lichbane afterwards. Um, what's really important is that you get your your Sheen very early, um, because it does uh, give you the capability of snowballing. You don't cannot snowball if you don't pick up your early Sheen or Lichbane. So I actually just start with uh, the Tome and then go directly back and buy the Sheen, uh, picking up the Lichbane after that later. Um, it's obviously often uh, uh, very important to uh, pick up health pots also, since, well, pots OP. Pots, 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 pots. Anyway, um, nonetheless, back to the game. Um, after you've picked up your Lich Bane, uh, I would say that you should pick up uh, your Sorcerer's Boots. Sorcerer's Boots, yeah, that's what they're called, I'm quite, uh, quite sure. And then pick up a Rabidon. So the reason that you go for Rabidons immediately is because it does give that incredible AP boost, and you need that for uh, for the Lich Bane procs to be really high. Um, after this, you can uh, then focus more on getting uh, Nash's Tooth. Nash's Tooth is really strong because um, of your passive and your W, causing you to have high attack speed and your auto attacks to deal extra extra magic damage. Um, and, well, obviously Nash's Tooth does give that 15% of your AP uh, as extra damage on every basic attack, so it makes you more viable in longer fights uh, where you can't rely on your cooldowns quite as much. After you have uh, gotten your Nash's Tooth, that's where it more or less gets difficult because you have to take decisions. Now, good items would be a Deathfire Grasp uh, and... So on this hourglass, you could pick us on this hourglass. Um, it's a very situational item for Miss Fortune because it does not work with your ultimate. You can't alt and then Sonius. I learned that the hard way. Um, that's not a possibility. So it's only good if you feel like um, you have problems in team fights uh, because you get focused very hard. Also, um, things like uh, Abyssal Scepter can be really good or Void Staff. Uh, it obviously depends a lot on uh, on how uh, how your enemy is building and if you're ahead or behind. So you have to uh, take all of that into account. I will put a link in the description with um, with a build that I will make. Uh, I, I'll, I'll make a guide on uh, on locking and put a link in the description as it. So uh, you should go check that out uh, if you're interested in picking up AP uh, this Fortune mid. And um, as I said earlier, it does work. So it's not a troll pick. I'm very serious about this. It's a very serious guide. It works. Um, what you've got to note that in laning phase, it's very important to uh, use your E and your Q for harassment. Um, obviously, it's a little bit annoying in the early game because you will miss mana. Um, you also have to make sure as not to waste your mana, and you have. To, it's very important to um, place place yourself properly, depending on who you play against. Now I'm playing against Jenna, which means that I simply have to avoid her uh, her Qs, then I'll be more or less safe uh, from uh, from heavy amounts of damage. And that just means I have to dodge those and then get into the close enough range to either get my E or my Q off. Now, when it's a possibility, you want to hit the, uh, the 
put a ranged row of minions with your Q so that the, it, it can bounce onto the enemy. Obviously, if you're playing against a melee like Zed or Kha'Zix, you'd obviously place it on the, uh, the melee minions because they would, uh, your enemy would be standing and hitting your melee minions, increasing the chance that uh, it'll hit your desired target. So harassment is very important, obviously, uh, because you're a caster. Um, you need to make sure to use your abilities properly with Sheen slash Lich Bane, uh, because they do give a big amount of your damage. So don't just spam your abilities, you need to time them properly. Uh, what I usually do when I, uh, when I fight is I E, Lich Bane, Q, Lich Bane, W, Lich Bane, and then I just keep spamming my Q because it has the lowest cooldown and it will regain. The time where you should use your ult is either if you can uh, get a kill or if you can give large amounts of damage in, for example, a team fight. Um, because your ultimate does give mountains of damage when you go AP uh, Misfortune, which is one of the strengths of the, uh, the AP version of her. Um, yes, now that was laning phase, I covered that and the use of skills. Um, you have to make sure that you uh, place yourself properly. You would not want to just keep hitting things before you get your Nash's Tooth. Until then, you basically want to just run around and hit things when you have your cooldowns up. Uh, once you get your Nash's Tooth, you can indeed uh, hit things. Um, so just keep auto-attacking things as long as you kite. You obviously have to kite so as to make sure not to take too much melee damage. Um, Yes, exactly. Um, as you can see, um, I did die there because, well, I forget to buy Trinket. That was kind of horrible by me. <laughs> but, um, oh well. You, oh yes, I also want to mention you can buy the Hextech uh, Godblade if you want to. Um, but I don't like playing it that much because you won't really get as much lifesteal and spell them from it as you would uh, with a lot of other champions. So therefore I prefer to uh, fill out that slot with some other AP item. It's also important that you can only pick uh, Misfortune if you know you have proper tanks that can peel for you. It's incredibly important to have peeling. Because if you don't get peeling in teamfights, she's more or less useless because you'll just be focused or you won't be capable of getting your abilities off properly. You need something uh, to basically be a brick wall <laughs> so that you can get off your abilities on the enemy. Now, um, for the rest of uh, this game, I will just uh, I will just fast forward it and uh, put on some music. So uh, sit back and watch me play uh, AP Miss Fortune. Thanks for uh, watching. Uh, please subscribe and like the video, and uh, have a great day.